my beautiful and very learned love bugs. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who don't know me, hello, my name is Nancy. I am an entomologist, which means that I study bugs, and I also live in Ecuador, where normally I'm doing ecotourism focused on entomology, ecology, culture, and conservation. But that isn't happening right now due to, you know, reasons. So welcome to my YouTube channel. A question I get a lot is, I have a friend, son, daughter, relative, me. I have me and I want <laughs> references that have something to do with insects or bugs or their general biology and I just don't know where to start. Do you have any good recommendations? So I have like a giant library. <laughs> it extends past my bookshelf and my coffee table is now like an extra library. So I thought it would be fun to show you and talk to you guys about some of the books I have. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> I have either been gifted them by, by my parents. I'm like, hey, I saw this cool book you want to get for me for Christmas. <laughs> or in some rare cases, the authors themselves have gifted them to me, which I am like very, very grateful for. So I thought today through the rest of the week, because we're doing almost daily December, we, you know, we're trying really hard, that I have a, a lot of books that I want to talk about and one video just seemed like too much like put them all in one video was like too much. So I'm gonna separate them into four different videos, or four piles here. So you can skip to the video that you think uh, has the books that you would want to purchase for you or yourself, or maybe you just don't wanna purchase any, you just wanna like look at some cool books, which I mean like fair, let's do it. So today's video is going to be books for I'm not going to say kids. I don't own kids. I don't have kids. Now we see why I don't have kids. I don't have kids, so I don't have any books that are like really, really young, but I do have what I would consider like teenage, like preteen through young adult books. So we're going to start there. And, and yeah, that's, <laughs> that's what we're going to do. This video is not sponsored. I do have affiliate links to some of these books in the reference section below and I will mark the ones that are affiliate links. Affiliate links basically just means that you go to Amazon, it costs you exactly the same amount and I get like a dollar from it. So, you know, it helps the channel out a little bit. It makes me get to go places, film more stuff for you guys. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna show you are actually two sets of really, really beautiful playing cards that come with books. And this is done by Immy Smith or Lycomorpha on Twitter, and they are amazing artists. They do all of these cards individually, one by one, each insect on each card, individually, with colored pencil. It is astounding. So I'm going to show you, they have two decks out right now. This is the Insecta Ruby deck and I will pull them out. So this, this one, I gave away my other one. Uh, it comes in red or blue, basically. I, I kept the red one for myself. Um, so these are the backs of the cards. These were all done with colored pencil and they're just absolutely beautiful. And these are the cards in front. So I'm gonna like try and block my face maybe. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Be like a real YouTuber now. Um, so yeah, each one of these insects, they drew each one individually and all the cards are different and they're all like loosely based off of real insects. And that's what I really like about it. I'm like, I think it's really cool when you can take inspiration from the natural world and kind of just make them your own thing. Like this one, for example, is based off of a Zamara species cicada, which is really common here in Ecuador. And, you know, they're just absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so highly recommend if you have like a card shark in your life, then, or, you know, you bring cards to a restaurant, not that that's happening right now, but when it does again, <laughs> you bring cards to a restaurant, uh, then, you know, you have something that's like really fun and kind of special. But anyway, like I was saying, they do come with a book, so it still counts. <laughs> and like Amorpha or Amy Smith, they have 
like a blown up picture of the art and they make up like a little bit of biology about the species that they invented which i think is really cool it's like a field guide to the different cards and kind of get into Emmy's mind a little bit so that's one but they have more than just one deck uh, they also have cryptic cards which is all about camouflage which i also think is really really cool this one is not as camouflaged <laughs> but i think it's just like so so cool it's like this is like your typical playing cards but a camouflage bug usually moth is just right over top which i think is really really neat again each one of these cards was hand drawn with colored pencil which to me just like blows my mind so absolutely absolutely gorgeous um and this one as well comes with a book and i'm not sponsored by them they don't even know i'm doing this i get nothing from it i just really 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 love their art so all right on to books books so i'm gonna start with what i think is like kind of the most childish in a way all the way up to kind of more young adult so the first one and this is my favorite book ever like when people come into my house this is the book that i show them we have Bugs by McGavin and Kay. My dad had to get me this book I, like from a used bookstore because the year that I wanted it, it got really popular and there weren't any more on Amazon. So this one is from a used bookstore. So it has, it's like, it's not as in pristine condition as it could have been, but it is now in stock on Amazon and has yeah recently come in stock. But it is a pop-up book. Oh my God. It's so beautiful um and like literally every little thing moves in it like i could do a whole video just on this book alone because like this whole thing pops out um and every time i open this book i swear that i see something new in it like this is a dissectable cockroach right so like under here so this is the one like it it mine's a little bit old um but you have you know, the wings, the underside, and then you actually get into all the internal organs of the cockroach. So even though this is a pop-up book, I don't necessarily recommend getting this for your like three-year-old. And that's because there's actually a lot of pretty intense vocabulary in here. They don't dumb down the biology. They talk about hemolymph or the insects, basically blood, it's not technically blood, but it's close enough. So they even, they say words like hemolymph. They, they use entomological terminology in this book, but I think it's just presented in such a beautiful and interesting way. Like you get to see the insects systems, you get to learn about mating and reproduction with, you know, <laughs> a good diagram of what happens. <laughs> if not your best reader, you know, your five-year-old. Um, and the digestive system and your nerves and your senses so i really really love this book just the artistry that goes into it like literally even this thing down here opens up like even like this opens up um oh this one's my favorite well i have like so many favorites it's like ah, and then a little whip scorpion comes out anyway so they they have a lot of biology in here it's just like a fun very tactile way to learn some basics of entomology so 10 out of 10 do recommend i mean at 10 out of 10 for all of these i recommend all of them so yeah this will be down down there so next one is this one has changed its name it's now pockets bugs and it has a different cover but when I looked for it, it seems to be basically the same book. I got this from a used bookstore uh, for a dollar. <laughs> I think its retail price is like five dollars. Um, but it's just a really quick little facts about insects and how they grow up. And, you know, you have different insects like egg laying and parasitic wasps in it. And it's just like short literally little quick facts like water surface insects how they breathe how they move around like flight 
and relationships between, between each other, between other things in the ecosystem. And it's just like a cute, short, it's just a cute, short book. And you have some kind of fast facts about insects in the back. And I was really surprised when I found this in the bookstore for being what it is. I thought it was going to be really kind of childish, but it has some really good information in here. Just quick snappy facts and gives you a little bit about the insects with really nice pictures displaying what they're talking about. And it's small, very easy to bring with you in places. All right. Next isn't strictly an entomology book, but there are references of insects in it. And as another very gorgeous, beautiful book, you'll notice that a lot of the books I have are just pretty. I really like pictures, I've not grown up very much apparently. So almost all the books I own have pictures in them. But this one I saw at Barnes and Noble last year, two years ago. And I was like, this book is just so pretty. The Wondrous Workings of Planet Earth by Rachel Ignotowski. And it talks about the different ecosystems on Earth and talks a little bit about how they function. And despite being really beautifully drawn, I would definitely consider this more of a, you know, like teenager, preteen, book. I mean, I still like it. So I'm, I'm 31. Take it, take it with a grain of salt. But I'm really excited because it even, <laughs> it even mentions Ecuador specifically. So here's like South America. So it kind of gives you an overview of the continent. It says Ecuador is the first country ever to grant rights to nature in its constitution, which will be coming up in a later video. And this means lawyers can defend the ecosystem right to exist, persist, maintain, and regenerate its vital cycles. But as you can just tell, the art is just so beautiful in this book. And I really like how they pair really good information about how the ecosystems work with these really pretty kind of like biomes in, in a jar. It's just, it's just a really pretty book to look at. And I always like trying to find the insects, like here's a little beetle. Haha, <laughs> the armadillo eats the beetle. <laughs> so I feel like it's a little bit of a scavenger hunt. But every page is just absolutely beautifully drawn with really nice information. This is actually one of the few books that I haven't highlighted in because I don't like it's so pretty. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't wanna ruin it. And then the last two I would consider like you know, definitely teenagers can read it. It's written at that level. But also if you're just an enthusiast as an adult and don't want to deep dive into something, but want something a little bit more than just like a coffee table book with pictures, I think these would be really good for you. Um, the first one is Insects Did It First. You can tell that I'm not kind to my books when I read them. And this is by Eric Eaton. So it's basically comparing things that humans have done, like flight, and talking about how insects have done it and definitely did it way before us even all the way to humans using tools versus insects using tools. It has like really cute kind of illustrations. Again, I sort of like pictures, but it's really easy to read. It has really fun stories. It tells how insects can tell time. It talks about like hierarchies and social classes in insects. It talks about like sound produ production and comparing it to humans. So I really like this book because it really kind of closes the gap between humans and insects and in a fun written like, you know, you just like take this when you go to the beach and have a good, that's what I did. I read it when I went to the beach. And we have Bug, Sting, Bite, Why We Need Insects by Anne Ferguson. I have, <laughs> if you like books in pristine conditions, I am not, <laughs> not the person for you. So you can I like, <laughs> picture, I'm such a child. Um, but I really, really like this book because it talks about why we need insects and what they're doing in the ecosystem. So like this whole chapter is about insects clean up after our mess, which I really like. I like this whole section about the importance of dung beetles and especially in Australia when they brought cows over and there were no dung beetles and there was just poo everywhere and so how insects were really integral in fixing that mess. This, this was done by my six-year-old friend. She drew me a moth and I have put it in this book. 
He's also drawn me a butterfly on the other side. Anyway, so I also really, really like this book. Well, my gorgeous love bugs, I hope that you liked this short little haul about some of my favorite kind of like more simple like kid preteen books. And so if you have a teen in your life or you are a teen and you're watching or you're an adult like me and like pretty books, I recommend all of these. <laughs> okay, love bugs, I will see you tomorrow when we go through a little bit more of my bug book collection. However, if you want to skip all of that, show up on Monday when we have another Turf Wars video. Until then, click here for a video that YouTube thinks that you'll like, and down here for my commentary react playlist. Bye.